Hello YouTube, it looks like we're going to be able to spectate a game here, an actual game. I found a pretty high level ELO ranked game here. And as you can see, you got the teams right here. New News, Zed, Riven, Maokai, Misfortune versus Sivir, Lux, Lee Sin, Janna, and Vi. So it's going to be Maokai and Vi in the jungle. And we're going to have probably Riven top with Zed mid. So Riven versus Lee Sin, Zed versus Lux. And then we've got at bottom lane, Janna and Sivir versus MF and Nunu. So it should be a good game. Looks like everybody's going with some standard builds. John getting the Crystalline fast Flask first, along with Lux getting the Crystalline Flask. That item is really good right now. Let's you trade damage and spam spills quite a bit. Looks like Nunu running a little bit aggressive. Not de not deciding to get the uh, Crystalline Flask. Instead going for the Fairy Charm and Rejuvenation Bead for that quick Philo Stone. And it looks like we might see a little bit of action here at the purple-blue. We'll see how this goes. Right now, it's not a good idea. It looks like MF might get caught here. Run, MF, run. Lux missed the bind, though, so she'll get away just fine. Oh, yeah, I doubt we'll see any more action in the jungle, just because blue team knows that everybody's there. We might see a little bit of poke here between Lee Sin and Maokai, but... Pretty much not much is going on. So far... Lux might play aggressive here, put, placing a pretty aggressive ward. Vi is the jungler. Anyway, before this game starts, I'm just going to set up these champions so I can compare a little bit easier. Minions have spawned. There we go. Okay. So it looks like they're doing standard walls. Blue starts for both of their junglers. Maokai makes for a very effective ganker here, so it should be really interesting to see because Maokai, with that bind of his, the root, he just ganks so well. While Vi, she really has to wait until she's six before her ganks are really effective, unless the other team is caught way out of position. And then she could do some damage, but her ganks are pretty underwhelming. But she does a lot of damage if she could get in range. So doing a heavy leash here, Janna making sure that uh, Vi doesn't take too much damage, and Maokai, he's playing a little bit closer to the chest, but he can do that, so. Looks like pretty standard. We already got some uh, bottom farming pretty solid, and Riven and Lee Sin look like they're trading a few blows, not too many. I'm not sure who wins that uh, that interaction top. It's probably Riven, just because she's got the stun and the shield. But Lee Sin does have quite a utility kit, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to happen. While MF Nunu just could provide a lot of harass at bottom, so I wouldn't doubt if they win the early game. But Sivir, I feel, is a little bit stronger at end game. And Janna, her ult ability. And Nunu, unless he his ult isn't really super exciting, unless... Uh, not with uh, Janna, just because of the fact that she could knock him up out of it very quickly. But he is running a lot of health, so he could take a, lo a huge beating right now, and you're not going to see a lot. Oh, we're seeing quite a bit of damage going on top. And it looks like Lee Sin is winning the little poke war right now. What did Lee Sin start with? Boots? He did, Boots Pots. And he is running the extra gold from the uh, support tree, so... Some nice warding. Purple hasn't warded, but they don't really need to since their lane is so pushed uh, against them. So, But that's going to happen with Dudu MF. Looks like Vi might have tried a, a gank there, but maybe she's just backing after clearing. Probably clearing. Maokai just came from his first back, and it looks like he didn't buy anything besides boots and pots. Same with Vi. She bought boots pots on her first back. Uh, Riven's at full. Right now, a pretty unexciting game. Just a little bit of pokes here and there. So, uh, yeah, maybe we'll see some action here. Once uh, Zed gets six, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Zed does a little bit of damage here. And tries to go for the kill on Lux. But Lux can zone pretty hard, but... Oh, it looks like Vi's going to go for a gank here at level three. It's not going to do that much. Probably, unless uh, they push really hard. Oh, 
Oh, this might be First Blood right here on Nunu. Yep, it is. First Blood goes to the support. Oh, man. Very pro. It looks like Blue might also be able to do something here with the Lux, with the Maokai that aggressively played. Oh, he does flash over the wall, but she does an amazing shield. There goes the Ignite, and but she binds them both, and the Vi! Oh my god, is the Vi going to get another one? Oh, man! That is intense. Vi coming all the way down from bottom lane just to save the Lux and do a f ton of damage to that Zed. Back at top, it looks like uh, Riven is now winning the poke war. Nunu and MF on their first back. Oh, wow, They she managed to chase down the Mao. I'm sorry, I missed that. Anyway, so right now there's a strong lead in favor of Purple Team. Um, MF on her first back got a Vamp Scepter. It's a really good item right now. It gives a lot of sustain and a lot of uh, uh, damage. Uh, it's only 10, so it, but it is significantly better than the Dorn's Blade since the Dorn's Blade got changed with the last season changes to uh, flat health per auto attack instead of percent health per auto attack. Well, not percent health, but percent damage, rather. Anyway, it's pretty tame now, even though there is almost a 2k gold advantage in Purple's favor. But, uh, they're just farming up, trying to get that gold advantage higher with just steady farm. Looks like Lee Sin did force the Riven back, and Riven got two Doran's Blades on her first back. Zed looks like he's going to try and do something down here bottom. And it looks like Sivir's just able to play that advantage with uh, the Janna Shield. The Janna Shield, it does provide a lot of AD. And with that ward, she, wasn't a she was able to get away from the Zed. So, flashing away, pretty successful use of that flash. But uh, Crystalline Flask is one of those things that I think needs to get like either a nerf or increase of gold, just because it's such a good item. If you go Crystalline Flask and the opposing team... Your opposing lane doesn't. You can just trade so much damage just because it gives mana regen and HP regen. And it's for like the rest of the game. Or until you decide to sell it and get something better. Anyway, Nunu does have that Philo Stone, so he will be getting more gold over time compared to the Janna with that Philo. And we'll see if Blue Team can crawl back from this early decrease. They're going to probably have to get a jungle here early, which they can do. With the Nunu, they can do quick, probably quickly take down uh, Dragon, assuming uh, they can get in there quickly and quietly without Purple Team being aware of it. Wow, Lee Sin got taken really low by that Riven. Oh, and she does the flash dash for the kill. Oh, bad, bad, bad. There, Lee Sin, you should have known better. Should have gone back instead of being greedy. Vi's gonna look like looks like she's gonna try and do a little bit of damage here. She is six, so she does have that alt capacity. It is up too. So we'll see if she's able to do a little bit of damage here to the Riven. Riven does have that stun, but Vi has a lot of sustained damage. But yeah, there's the alt. It looks like she's gonna do a lot of damage here. And she might get the kill. Oh, this is dangerous for her. Riven's got that stun, remember. And with Maokai now, Vi is probably dead. Very likely dead. She overchased. Gonna give the kill to Zed here, probably. Oh, man. There, okay, good. Looks like uh, we didn't miss anything besides a little bit of poke damage. It looks like Blue was able to push uh, Purple away from bottom tower. Starting to catch back on that gold uh, disadvantage there. Let's see how the gold spread's looking. It's actually not too weighted besides on the supports. There's a pretty significant difference. And there's a slight difference on the uh, top, but not enough to be noted. It's pretty much only 400 gold. Meanwhile, back in mid, Zed is doing quite a bit of damage here to Lux, but she does give a good bind, which makes it so she can do quite a bit of damage to him. Oh, man. If she weren't Oom, or very close to, she would have this kill. Is her ult up? No, she used it early, apparently, to do a little bit of harass. So, fortunately, Zed is going to get away. But, uh, Vi is going to give her the blue. That is the nice thing about having a Zed mid, is uh, Maokai can keep taking blues. Purple's now exchanging the favor. 
doing a lot of damage to this bottom turret. It looks like they might actually be able to take it here with that Jana shield and that cannon creep. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage. Looks like she wants to uh, steal a little bit of farm from them, so she didn't. She wanted to uh, let the turret do as much damage to those creeps as possible. Let the lane push out as much as possible. Looks like she drops pink sword, denying that vision there on tri bush. Oh, Sivir is caught. It's gonna be a lot of damage on here. She is dead, and the Maokai might be able to. Ooh. They're probably going to dive her, and she's probably dead. That is unfortunate for blue. Or for purple, rather. But it looks like blue might be able to crawl back here. But with that turret, they do have that gold advantage. But with this dragon, they're probably going to get here easily. With Since purple doesn't even have vision on it. Now, purple doesn't... Well, they probably know what's going on. But uh, they're going to get this dragon very easily. With Nunu's consume and... Uh, the smite, it should be able to take it down pretty easy unless Lux can do a blind steal. Not gonna happen. Back at top, looks like Riven's pushing very hard on this uh, Lee Sin. As far as farm goes, um, no crazy advantages except there is a 10 minion advantage in Sivir's favor. But MF does have two kills instead, so they're probably pretty even on that gold. Very even. Sivir is just slightly ahead. Oh man, look at that gank! Let's see if Riven and Maokai can get this good flash there. She is going to get away and do a lot of damage to that Riven. Vi is, did ult the Riven. And with the Lux there, going to do a lot of damage. Gets the kill on Vi and probably the Maokai here since she does have blue. Nice. That was a good play there by, by Vi. Coming in, ulting, ensuring the kill for Lux. Very nice. Lux isn't going to be able to do too much damage here because Zed and Nunu are coming. She isn't aware of the Nunu, but she is aware of the Zed. Oh, she's dead. Unfortunately, that Zed ult, man, when he gets the good combo of his other skills on there, it just does so much damage. Purple team is still rocking a 2k gold advantage. Just because of uh, the, the solid farm there by Sivir. She is starting to get significantly ahead there on that creep score. Lee Sin decided to push the tower really hard. Is going to get away here. But pushed the tower pretty hard. Got a lot of creeps there. John is defending mid temporarily while we wait for the Lux to come back. Sivir, because her lane was pushed, decided to mess around in the jungle. So far, pretty solid game from both teams. That 2k gold advantage. Where is all that gold on? Probably Vi and Sivir. Sivir only has a 200 gold lead. Janna has a pretty significant gold advantage. It is. It's Vi and, Lu and Lux. They're the ones with the gold ad advantage. Vi's gold advantage is pretty huge. It's because she's done quite a few kills and quite a few ganks. Just with that minor error chasing too far there on top lane, trying to get the, uh, the Riven. Uh-oh, Lux might be in some deep trouble here. She is. With that stun and the burst of uh, Zed, it's just brutal. Back at bottom lane, it looks like we're going to see a significant damage. Janna is probably going to go down here very soon. Even with that flash, I don't think she's going to make it away. And Sivir's going to have to retreat because they could very well dive her here. With the tower that low... And having two people, three people doing damage on her, and Nunu being so tanky, because he does already have 86 armor. He, uh, they, it's just a little bit brutal. <laughs> Never seen such a tryhard. Lol. Anyway, the chat there is being a little ridiculous. Blue is slowly decreasing that gold advantage with the dragon. If they get this tower, that that's going to almost bring them back to even. Vi, looks like she is going to come down and defend it. Excuse me there, I had to cough a little bit, didn't catch it. Okay, Vi is going for the gank. No, she isn't. Just going to let Nunu waltz away. 
Meanwhile, Maokai, he's waiting to do blue for somebody here. Riven, maybe? I don't know, decides to take it. Okay, it looks like uh, Vi is going to give Lux another blue here. It's definitely much better on Lux than it is on Riven. Uh, Vi. Why do I keep... Stupid Riven. Tanky female characters. Well, tanky DPS female characters messing with me. Oh, if Lux is not careful, he could burst her down again. Is his ult back up? It is. But she is poking him down, so maybe she's a little afraid. Oh, there's the ult. Here's a lot of damage to the ignite. She does cleanse it away. She is going to survive if she can dodge all his Qs and... Dat cleanse, indeed. Very strong. Taking off the ignite and barely making her live. As far as everybody's building, Vi looks like she's going for uh, either Frozen Mallet and a. Looks like Frozen Mallet and a Last Whisper, probably. Um, Luck, she's going for that quick uh, mask. Looks like Blue Bottom finally managed to push that purple turret there probably going to see another dragon fight here. It should be back up here very soon. Oh, Lux, Lux, you are too aggressive, man. You're going to get killed here. MF is going to get that killing blow. Oh, it was that was a good flash. That was an amazing flash. Now Vi might be able to pick up something. Oh, uh, no, she's dead. I was thinking she might be able to pick up that Maokai, but unfortunately, just not going in her favor. I guess it was a little aggressive. Purple shouldn't be able to push too hard with uh, Janna and Sivir now in mid. I mean, Blue shouldn't be able to push too hard here with them mid. Okay, looks like Blue is going to go for the dragon again here. Should be able to get it just fine. Maokai will be there before it's over. Just barely. <laughs> Waltzes by and gets the smite. Okay. So that should almost even it up. They're only down by a thousand gold now. And most of that gold is on Vi. Even though Zed's starting to get a pretty significant gold. He's at 6k while the highest on uh, purple is 5.5. So... And us. Uh, oh man! Looking at the stuff and I missed the Zed kill. My bad. Sorry about that. Talking smack. So lame. But this turret is actually going to be pretty significant on their gold. They should be able to get it here very shortly. If not on this push, on the next wave, they should be able to get it down. Oh, that Vi. She is so caught. Manages to flash over the wall. But Leeson does save her. Gets that turret while we're watching this. And let's see what happens. Lux manages to pick up the Nunu there. And oh man, the Vi is... The Lux is going to go down to the MF alt. Vi manages to pick up the Riven there with a nice alt. Sivir is going to go down here too. Probably the Maokai with Janna pushing, her clo pushing him closer. Maokai is going to go down to the Riven. I guess the Vi, sorry. I keep doing that, mixing up my straw, my female ADs. Sivir got her IE, it looks like, from that. Big wave bottom. Vi should clean that up here after the wolves. John is just going to defend this, prevent it from taking too much damage. But so far, a pretty good game. The gold advantage is sw slowly swinging in Purple's favor. That was a good age with a lot of assists there. But uh, blue team managed to finally push that mid turret. They're only down one turret now. So, in its top, it's already at half health, so it's not that significant. All the lead. I'm not sure what that ping was. Trying to mess around with Dragon. 
We'll watch Nunu as he might engage the Lee Sin here. Riven's probably going to be able to get the top turret here. Oh, she doesn't have any wards. That would be an aggressive play and probably get her killed. Lex is just trying as all that she can to prevent this lane from pushing. Pushing out a little bit before she gets the blue. Nunu's running around clearing wards with that pink ward there. Should be good, even though Dragon's not up for quite a bit. But denying that vision's always helpful. So let's see what the vision looks like. Blue has much better map control right now. Lux getting that blue, again, should be very helpful. Now got all quiet again. Not much action going on right now. Jana pushing out the lane a little bit. It's very interesting because Lux is such a zoner and Zed is such a burst AD caster. It's kind of like Talon but with a lot more single target damage. And his movement tech is a lot more versatile. Vi does drop the ult on the MF. MF does a good flash over that wall though. Should be able to get away here. With the uh, new new blood for bloodlust, uh, I forget what the skip spell is called. Should give her enough movement speed to get away. Might be able to drop the Nunu. She was able to interrupt the ult. Oh, and the ignite takes him down. That's unfortunate. Riven is going to be able to get away here, but she did take a lot of damage. Bloodthirsters for everyone, it looks like. Back at Purple's gonna keep trying to push this. The Maokai is gonna stay as close as possible, try and get the Zed a kill here, or protect the Zed while he defends. Lee Sin is pushing that top awfully hard now. Vi is giving mid a little bit of a push here, trying to do a little bit of damage. With that red lizard thing, she does a lot of AoE damage. Doing that 51 true damage every time she does periodic, uh, non-periodic spell damage is pretty huge. But she's going for maximum AoE damage. Looks like the new is going to harass a little bit here. Not going to be able to take him down, but with MF there... Oh, Vi's ult is almost up. They might get a kill here if they linger too much longer. Dragon should be back up again here, so we'll probably see a small engage here on Dragon. Blue team has managed to grab both, so that is that is pretty significant. If that keeps up, that's just going to spiral out of control. Seeing a little bit of... A messing around here. Lux is starting to do a lot of damage with that hat and the haunting guys and she's probably finishing her Leandries next. She'll have probably around 40 40 magic pen and that periodic damage on her abilities from the uh, Leandries passive is it's really good. That item, I, I'm personally of the opinion that Leandries needs to get nerfed just because it provides so much utility. Uh, magic pen uh, Bonus AP. Dragon is up, so we're probably going to see some engage. It's like Black Cleaver. It's uh, another really good item for your gold. It gives uh, you a lot of stats. And if you get a Void Staff on it, it just makes it so you do a lot of damage. MF trying to do uh, a steal there on the Dragon with her ult, but unfortunately, uh, it's not going to happen. With that dragon kill, the gold advantage is now 4k in uh, purple's team's favor. Blue team just not able to struggle their way back here. Let's see. Mo mainly it's from the creep score. Lee Sin is out farming the Riven, and Sivir is out farming the MF. It's not crazy significant, but it is relatively significant. Because let's see what the gold's at. 8k. AD carries are pretty even. That Janna, man, she has a lot of gold compared to that Nunu. Lee Sin has a decent amount. Basically, the big gold difference is the Vi and Maokai. That is a lot of that gold difference is the Vi and Maokai. Everybody else is just 
a little bit ahead. That's okay. Maokai's alt is really good at endgame, so maybe they'll do very well at endgame. Because of it. Looks like they're both doing the same builds, both the AD carries, the MF and the Sivir. Building roughly the same things. It looks like she's going to finish that Phantom Dancer next. And, uh... John is running pretty much the standard support, rushing the Reverie as fast as possible with the, the Ruby Sight Stone. She did get a Ninja Tabby. I guess that makes sense since they're pretty much all ID except for Maokai. And even then, you don't pick up Maokai for his damage. It's more his utility. Looks like Purple's going to try and take advantage of that back. Try and push this turret. They're going to try and do a 4v5 engage here. But Zed should be back before that happens. By stealing the... Blue team's race while this is all going on. Lux taking their blue. That's actually relatively significant. So right now we've got a 5v4 in blue team's uh, advantage. Popping the reverie just to make sure they get away. Lux is very vulnerable right now. She might go down. She is very out of position. She is in some trouble. Looks like Lee Sin trying to get a little bit here but manages to take him down with the uh, ignite steady damage in the MF alt but that Lux being a little bit greedy there going for that blue almost gets the least in killed trying to save her he did succeed in saving her but it was it was it was dangerous oh man Zed just gets caught trying to do blue or something I don't know what's going on there so now it's back to a 4v4 mid Blue is trying to push, get get some of this gold advantage back here, but with Lux, they're not going to be able to push very hard. <coughs> Had a little bit of a chest cough here. Might not be the best first game, but hey, we're going to post it and see what you guys think. Okay, Purple's going to try and counter push here with Lux being able to clear waves with Sivir's help there. They should be able to do a little bit of damage here, not... To, pretty quickly and with Nunu back they might be able to do the Baron here does uh, blue team have vision they do so they are aware of it John are getting a little bit caught out of position but not crazy significant might be able to get the Maokai here because he gets caught out of position chasing the Janna oh and that's gonna be a Baron buff probably here in purple team or at least another engage here Pur because purple team wants to fight this. They just want to. With a 5v4 and the Maokai down. Vi is going for it. Does the Q in. Doing a lot of damage to that Riven. Lux manages to pick him up with the ult. We're going to see if they can chase down this MF. Dive in very hard here. The Vi almost cuts the distance. Oh, she does flash. She is going for it with red and that that spirit lizard she does a lot of true damage but that Vi she's a little greedy oh man that Nunu all that's gonna hurt nice kick there by Lee Sin unfortunately the Zed was able to pick up the Sivir there with the alt just does so much damage after the fact if he gets enough damage on there Maokai trying to defend this turret but he might get bursted here manages to evade the Lux alt but th that's gonna be a lot of damage and down he goes and this turret's gonna go down here if not now very very soon probably on this push right here Lux should be able to uh, zone the uh, MF uh, I guess she just decides to play it safe turrets a turret but a death's much worse right now just because it might give up the Baron Gold advantage is now almost 6k in favor of purple team. Dragon should be back up here. Nunu is going for it. He's not going to be able to do much. Just drops a little ice ball on her. What is the name of that? Was it Blood Boil? Blood Boil. That's what it is. Anyway, Blood Boil is a very good buff for uh, support Nunu. He just he can do a lot of work, but I guess Janna Sivir just has a lot of damage just because of the fact that Janna can shield and... Uh, that increases the attack damage, and then those Qs, man, they just hit really hard from Sivir. Boomerang Blade does a lot of damage. 
And I guess with the Nunu, uh, I guess Sivir would be a really good counterpick to Nunu because you can just the animation on that Ice Ball is pretty significant, and she can just spell shield that away. That is what it's called, yeah, spell shield. Okay, not too much is going on here. They're all just farming the jungles. John is kind of trying to keep the lane pushed so that they can do uh, that turret at any given time. As far as vision goes, purple team just has a lot on Baron. Blue has pretty lacking vision. Dragon is back up, so we are going to see a fight here. Purple team should know this is going on, just from the way they're all moving. And with that ward. Oh, it looks like, oh, they're catching them slightly out of position. But it managed to disengage. Vi is going in deep. Lux lands the ult on at least two. Nunu ult going down. Vi is going down there. And now, so is the Zed. So I guess it's even one for one right now. Janna doing a, a push away just to heal up her team again. Managed to take down the Maokai and the Riven. Let's see if Sivir manages to live. Woo! Pretty close. Lux manages to land the bind on Nunu. That'll bring him down. I don't think they're going to be able to Baron out of this, but they are going to be able to push some turrets. Lee Sin taking a lot of damage taking that turret. Oh man, and they dive! They dive so hard. Gold advantage is now 9k in favor of purple team. This game is practically over here. If They should back here very soon since they're all up. Lux apparently really wants the blue buff. Really wants the blue buff. That might be fateful because what, hap what what might happen here is you might see Blue go straight for Baron. And with Lux that low and practically Oom, and Janna that low and practically Oom, like they might not be able to contest it. Purple, Purple does get the dragon and now they should all back just so that they can test the Baron fight. But I think Blue might be able to get this Baron. If they all go right now, they can get this Baron. Lux might be able to steal it, but it's also dangerous. She's going to do a lot of damage to that Maokai. And here it comes. Vi is there, so it's a little bit less safe. She does go immediately for the backline, taking out the... Doing a lot of damage to that MF. Doing a lot of damage to that MF. Maokai manages to drop his ring. That's going to provide a lot of protection. Lee Sin takes a lot of damage. The Janna takes a lot of damage from that MF ult, and looks like Purple Team wants to disengage this, but they, they're afraid that Blue Team's just going to come in and Baron behind him. Sivir at full health here, leading the charge. Pops her ult, doing a lot of damage, manages to land one half of the Boomerang Blade on that Riven, but not enough to... Uh... Wow, that ult. Oh, I guess she was going for MF. Oh, and the Zed manages to pick up the Lee Sin. Purple is going to still keep pushing, even though it's probably not a good idea. As far as items go, none of them have gotten Tier 3 boots yet, even though that surprises me. I guess uh, Nunu does have the Home Guard. But they, uh, Purple Team is going to get this turret. I don't think they're going to be able to get the Inhib just because five people are up. But they are going to get pushed back, and that gold advantage is now almost 11k. Blue Team really needs to get a Baron here, otherwise they're just, they're just not going to be able to come back from this. Gold differences, jungles, there is a 4k gold difference on the Vi. The Lux has a 1k difference over the Zed. The Lee Sin has a 3k gold advantage over the Riven. Janna has a 1k and the Sivir has a 2k gold advantage. So just all, across the board, purple is ahead. Farther. But the vision there on purple, they know they're doing it. Lux needs to... Purple knows that they there's a couple people there. But... We're probably going to see a Baron fight here very, very soon. Oh, they might be able to get the Janna here. At least do a lot of damage to her. She is building that Aegis now, though. So she is actually probably relatively tanky. With 100 armor and 77 MR, that's... 
that's relatively significant. This is the pro this is another problem with all AD teams, or practically all AD teams, because let's face it, Nunu doesn't do that much magic damage unless he gets a full channel of his alt, and Maokai doesn't do that much magic damage except from Sunfire. Like he does a little bit, but it's more uh, utility provides. Purple team is going for it. Blue team does. At least they suspect. They don't have vision, but they they do know about it. Let's see if purple team can rush this. It's gonna be close. And we're going to see a huge fight here. Maokai needs to get in there right now if he wants to stop this. Oh man, that's going to be the game. Right there, Riven's going to get taken out here probably. She manages to queue away. Oh, Maokai's dead. Maokai... Oh, he flashes over the wall. Lee Sin is chasing really hard though. Lux does manage to E him down. And that is game right there. It is a 5v4 and they have Baron buff. Takes out the Nunu, does a lot of damage to the MF, forcing her back. And Hib's going to go down here. Surrender vote fails there on blue team. Purple team is going to end this very, very soon. Vi is just kind of trolling right now, putting an ult. Oh, man! Are they going to get the Riven? Oh, I thought they were going to get the Riven. Zed tried to burst people down, but it's just not going to happen. They can't do anything to stop this team now with that Baron buff and the tankiness. It's just not going to happen. They're just zoning him now. So we're taking uh, well hits right now. Looks like they're going to try and tank this turret and bring it down. But it's all over but the music. MF blowing a strange ult. Riven manages to get a double stun. Almost takes out the, jo the, the Sivir here. Might get her to ignite. But them shields, man. Them shields. MF did pick up the Vi. I guess Vi overstayed her welcome. She did take out that turret. And Lux managed to pick up the Maokai. She, and Lee Sin might be able to pick up the uh, the Nunu here if he can land a Q. But right now he's just running around for that MF. He got baited real hard. Real hard. Riven is on the run. Manages to avoid that Q. But Nunu goes down trying to uh, support her. And uh, the Sivir dies to a Boomerang Blade. Zed trying to do some damage again, gets landed, gets a Q, just runs right into that Q, allowing Lex to ult and just take him out with the help of Simmer and Jana. And that is game, my friends. They should, they, they, I don't think MF can stop this. She can do a lot of damage, but they actually take her out in the well. She calls OP, GG's all around. Riven and Zed supposedly were lacking. This is very true, Riven wasn't farming very well, even for that skin timination they had. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was my first recorded cast here, and we'll be posting it here very, very shortly. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am looking for all sorts of criticism, so if there's anything you think that I'm doing w well, please let me know. If there's anything you think I need to improve on, like uh, I constructive criticism, I don't want you to just be like, hey, douchebag, you need to improve your skills. Uh, just, just be like, hey... Uh, you need to talk some more. I would, we'd like more backstory on the champions. We'd like to know a little bit more. Tell me what you guys want to know. and uh, Or tell me if there's anything you want me to talk about a little bit more while in the games. Like go over the skills or a little bit more. But uh, anyway, thanks again for watching. I had a lot of fun casting this game. It was pretty slow at the beginning, just kind of trading blows. But at the end, it got, a, it got pretty fun there. Well, that Baron fight, that, that was pretty hilarious. So anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, you guys... We'll see you on the next video.